So you want to become a web developer in 2021? Well, there's lots of things you could learn. So I'm going to give you the most minimal straightforward path that you can follow to do just that in about four minutes. Now, first off, there's a lot of different videos on this exact same topic on YouTube. Some of them from friends of mine, like Brad Traversy of Traversy Media and Jesse Hall of the Code Stacker channel. Those videos are absolutely incredible. You should go check them out with the links below, but this video is much different. It is the most minimal straightforward path you can find to becoming a web developer in 2021. Now make sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you the number one question you need to be able to ask yourself and answer to gauge where you are with your web development skills as you go through your learning process. So the number one set of things that you need to learn to get started is three things, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Those are the core technologies for building web applications. And the cool thing is you can start learning absolutely free. You can check out YouTube, which you're already here right now. You can look for tutorials there, and you can also check out the number one resource for people getting started, which is free CodeCamp, and they provide guided tutorials to help you progress through learning those three things. Now, as you learn, you need to be pushing yourself to build bigger and bigger, bigger projects. Those might start out really, really small and might gradually get a little bigger, but you need to make sure that you're experimenting and pushing yourself to build as you learn. Now, the next thing you wanna learn is a front-end framework, something like React and Vue. I personally use React, uh, but you can find lots of content and tutorials on both of them to learn how to build modern front-end web applications. Now, after you've kind of solidified that React or Vue knowledge and you've built a few things yourself, start thinking about full stack applications, which means you need to learn how to do server side code for your web applications. Since you've already got experience with JavaScript, I recommend moving to Node, which allows you to run JavaScript on the server. You can use a framework on top of that called Express. You can combine that with React and then a database like MongoDB to learn the MERN stack for building full stack applications. MERN standing for Mongo, Express, React, and Node. That is highly recommended from my perspective of the way you should go to learn how to do this. Now, if you want some structure on how to do all of that, I would recommend spending a little bit of money on Udemy to buy a $10 course to give you some structure along the way. Now, my very favorite course, the one that changed my career completely and drastically is the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele on Udemy. I have a link to that below, which you should check out and go through that course as well. So I mentioned there's one question you need to ask yourself to gauge where you are in your web development journey. And that question is, can you build a full stack CRUD application? CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. If you can do that, that means you've got skills in front end, back end, database, and how to put it all together. And to me, that is the most important aspect of becoming a web developer is do you understand how these pieces fit together? You may not become a full stack developer. You might focus on the front end or back end, but having that knowledge is the best way for me to tell you to put yourself in the best position to become a web developer. Now, a little extra here, if you're looking for a few additional things to add on to this list, TypeScript is a type superset of JavaScript that is becoming more and more popular. GraphQL is a data layer, a very modern data layer for being able to query data that is becoming more and more popular. And then you might look into doing unit testing. This is something that will be really impressive for people, for hiring managers, if you have a little bit of background in testing. I think that will give you a leg up over other candidates. So you want to become a web developer in 2021, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, front end framework like React or Vue, go Mern stack for full stack CRUD applications with Mongo, Express, React, and Node. And if you're looking for a few extras, TypeScript, GraphQL, unit testing, that's all I have. That's the quick guide. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you think there's anything I missed and I'll catch you in the next video.